episode. There's going to be a lot of the design works, a whole lot of that background stuff that I wouldn't normally show you guys. It's going to be really interesting, and I want your two cents on what I should be doing. Colors, design, all sorts of things. We'll talk through the video. Now, last thing I left you on the last video, the car was going for its first cert. And in that first cert, it gets uh, all the welds checked in the frame to make sure they're all good before it gets welded so they can see them. It got the steering, bump steer, and geometry all checked. And a few of the mounting points for the seats, the motor, and stuff like that. Now, it got the tip to pass, but they want to see a few changes. They just wanted to add a few gussets and a few bars. So as you can see, this bar here is new. And that one there is new. There is two new ones behind the seats. You can see one of them there. And there's a symmetrical one on the other side. And gussets. We got these taco gussets here. And these guys here. Um, where else? There's a few more scattered amongst the car. And that is enough to pass. So I've already done those. I didn't film them because it's very much what you've already seen. So I just jumped in there, got it done so we could move on. Now, I started putting some of the alloy in. So I've got the floor in down there. And I have this front panel on. It will be backed. I can't keep that see-through because of where the fuel tank and stuff will be replaced. But not going to worry about too much of that stuff in this episode. This episode is primarily about the design. So I've been working on the body and I won't go into it too in depth until we're looking on my computer because that's where most of the work has been done. One thing I want to suggest while I'm out here is turbo placement. Now, would it be better to have the turbo coming straight off this manifold here sitting right up here facing forward? Or would it be better to have it facing out to the side here so then the char charge pipe goes straight through here into the cooling and into the motor? I'll show you more on the computer so it makes a little bit more sense and uh, you guys get a, a whole better picture of, of what I'm thinking. So let's head there now. No more mucking around out in the cold and we'll get up to date. All right, if you guys have seen my first episode of the plans of what I was thinking of the car, you can see there some of the crazy designs that I had come up with for the body and how I was learning how to use surfacing and some of them were turning out pretty weird. But I kind of narrowed it in on roughly what I wanted. There's a few things that I need to think about when I'm doing this and I'm not allowed any radiuses smaller than six mil facing forward and I can't have any like sharp edges or um, if someone gets hit by the car there could be nothing that can impale them. It kind of makes sense doesn't it? So early on the design was pretty square, um, well not square but sharp and I was just trying to work it out on how to do it. Then I started honing the design in, rounding it out, making it look a lot better. As I'm going through all these pictures uh, today, just keep in mind that I'm keen to know what people think about the colours I'm using. And if you have any ideas, please let me know. Like this one here with the black gold wheels and the blue frame, that seems to be a recurring one that I quite like. Just, uh, yeah, just let me know if you see anything you like and comment on it. Now, I then, once I sort of got the front closer to what I wanted, I started working on the back. Now, as you can see, that one there, it just has like a simple guard over the rear wheel and a wing down the back. Now, what I was trying to do was I really wanted it to be nice and sleek and smooth and aero in the front, but a party from behind. I wanted to be able to see all the componentry and everything. I really sort of got a bit carried away with this design ended up really not liking it. So eventually, again, like I do a lot of times, I scrapped it and started again. Once I'd done that a few times, 
I started to narrow in on this design. I was trying to match the front of the car a bit more, try to make it look like one unit, not separated. Now you'll see this black panel separating the front and the back. Now that black panel, I want it to be really dark tinted Lexan, it's kind of like Perspex, so I want it to be see-through. So when you're in the car, you can see out and see the road, just to make it feel that little bit more scary. And I also wanted from the outside to just be able to see through and see some of the framework in behind it. But to further look into this design and to see how it developed, we're going to have to start talking about the aero of the car. Now just to get things straight from the start, I am no aerodynamic expert, nor am I a CFD expert, which is the simulation of this stuff, which you'll see in a minute. But first thing I had to do was tidy my model up and actually get it to a point where it could be simulated. That, uh, that was a learning curve in itself, but we got there. Then, when I started getting into it, I realised I had another big problem. One, I had a few sharp edges and flat spots that I needed to tidy up, so I went through and did that. But secondly, I had a problem with the radiator. Now, the radiator is obviously already mounted, if you've seen my other videos. But it looks like we're going to be moving it, because what I've decided to do is cut the radiator in half, mount it in the side pods which is in front of the rear wheels like we talked about in another video and put a wind diverter in the front of the car so the idea is the diverter sends the air to the sides of the car the sides are nice and smooth it'll suck down the side of the car and into the pods where the radiators are i can only get this car so aerodynamic being a speedster which means like open to top no windscreen type design, you're always going to get a problem with turbulence up there. So just trying to get it as good as it can be in this situation. Because I might as well spend the time now rather than coming back and changing stuff later. Then get the uh, body panels with all the componentry behind them was just too much information for the CFD simulator to handle. So what I ended up doing was just creating one big block to, to represent the frame and everything of the car and the wheels and then just put my body panels on top of that and this way I was able to work through piece by piece in the car and get the simulation closer to what I was happy with. I'm just going to leave you now and you can sit there and when I start doing the simulations at the end we'll talk again about some of the things I found. So here goes some of the simulations and as you can see here it's flowing through the front of the car along down the side and straight into the side pod there which is just what I was aiming for. Now the air over the top of the car I'm not too worried I'm probably going to have some form of wind deflector to try and shield the passenger and the driver at some point but I'm going to worry about that later. You can also do the simulation with these balls, which is quite interesting to see where they're suppressing and expanding. 
I'm just going to show some more angles of the air flowing through the car components, how it's going to act. I then, um, after sort of playing around with this a few times, I then went and added a rear wing. And I know with the driver in the car and the roll bars at the back, any air that gets to the back is probably going to be turbulating anyway and won't really help with the wing to cause or to create any downforce. But if I had a really, really big wing that was over top of that, it would. But I'm not really into that and I don't need rear downforce that badly uh, from a top wing. So I'm going to try and get some rear downforce using a rear diffuser. So this uh, wing here is a duck bell wing and it's more about another place for the number plate to mount. It's more aesthetic than anything but it does allow me to do more work on the diffuser down the bottom. And I know that a diffuser down below creates a lot of downforce in a vehicle. So from all that, I now have um, some more renderings of concepts of where the car's at sort of in my head at the moment. Let me know what you think, especially to do with the design, the colors. You know, if you've got anything sweet, your ideas you've got, things you've seen, like tail lights, headlights, um, you know, maybe wings, aerodynamic stuff, or uh, just chuck it in the comments. I'll have all these images up on my Instagram and my Facebook as well. So even if you want to jump over there, we can start having a bit of a chat on there with everyone. Keen as to see what people think. Thanks for watching, everyone. This one's been a bit different, I know, but I'm really looking forward to chatting with you to see what you think, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.